Hello everybody, so as the first day of spring is here, we're gonna go ahead and do a really nice purple smoky eye look on Ashley today. Love the way this turned out, so let's go ahead and get started. As always, we're gonna go ahead and moisturize first. You guys know I love the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. Definitely one of my favorites, so go ahead and apply it all over the skin. Next, we're going to prime her eyes. I'm using my Urban Decay Prior Potion in Original. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the eyes and then blend it out with my finger. So the first shadow that we're going to go in with is from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. It is Tempura. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this right underneath the brow as the brow bone highlight and then blend it down into the eye look. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Orange Soda. This is a really nice light shade, but as you guys know, I love to layer shadows down. So this is going to go right into the crease for a transition shade. So going back and forth from outer corner all the way to inner corner and blending it out. Next, I'm going to go in with Creme Brulee, which is another shadow by Makeup Geek. Again, I'm going to place this right in the outer corner and bringing it all the way into the inner corner being that we are doing a smoky eye i want to make sure that i blend these shadows from outer all the way to inner corner next i'm going to go in to the Lorac pro palette and i'm going to take the shade mauve i want to have a little bit of a purple tone in the crease so just taking mauve and blending it again or mauve or mauve whatever you want to say blending it from the outer corner and again placing it into the inner corner i do blend this up into the crease going with the other colors that we did put down and then i always go back with my big fluffy brush and make sure that all the colors are blended together to add a little bit of warmth and dimension I'm going in with saddle by Mac again I'm gonna place this right in the outer corner and blend this right into her crease I don't blend this up too too much I want to make, kind of mainly focus this right into the crease and then again going back with my big fluffy brush and blending everything out then we're going to go ahead and do the outer corner color, which is going to be Mac and Bark. This is one of my favorite dark brown colors. It's always an essential for me whenever I do smoky eyes, whether it's on myself or clients. I'm going to really place this in the outer corner, as you can see. And again, really focusing this right into the crease. I don't want to bring this color up too, too high right now. Maybe later on, I'll bring it up a little bit higher. But as of right now, I'm just putting this right into the crease. So at first, I went ahead and I put the purple down, but I just didn't like how it wasn't like so pigmented on the base you know eyelid so I changed it up and I'm going in with my Inglot gel liner and I believe this is 94 I'm gonna go ahead and place this down on her lid kind of going three quarters of the way in I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of it's gonna kind of look like a cut crease in a sense but it's just you know gonna put a base down so that this color just is really nice and vibrant so the purple that I'm using today is by BH cosmetics it's in the wild thing palette I will link of course all the products I use below for you guys this is one of my favorite purples because as you can see it's so vibrant I just absolutely love this color it's definitely one of my favorite purples and then what I do is go in and dampen my brush and I go back into the purple and put it right on top of the color and as you can see, dampening my brush just really makes this purple even more vibrant, and I love it. Then we're going to go back in with a little bit more Embark, applying that right in the outer corner. And this is not only going to deepen the outer corner a little bit more, but what I'm doing here is blending that purple into the rest of the eye look so you don't just have just a harsh line of purple. And then I also am going to go ahead and blend the shadow into the crease. So again, all the colors, the purple, is really just blended into this eye look more. Then we're going to go ahead and do a wing liner. I made it longer just because I really want the wing to stand out with this purple. So we're going to go ahead and do a winged liner. And then I do go in with a regular black shadow and set the liner because I don't want the liner to crease or move onto her eyelid. So you do go in with a black shadow and set it when I'm done. To deepen the outer corner a little bit more, make it a little bit more smoky, I am going in with just a touch of black. Any black that you have will do. And I'm just applying it right to the outer corner and just smoking out that outer V. While I let the lash glue get tacky on my lashes, I'm going to go ahead and apply primer. I'm using my purple primer since I thought it would be perfect for this look. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over her face. She did say her skin was feeling a little bit dry today, so I wanted to go in with a very luminous skin look. Um, so this is what I'm using first to go ahead and prime her face. Then to kind of go in with the luminosity and really make her skin glow, I'm going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid one. In 
opal. I'm pretty much going to apply this right on the highest points of her face. I'm just applying it right on the tops of her cheeks. And as you will see, it will give her skin a really nice luminous glowy look later on. For lashes today, I'm going in with Ardell Wispies. I actually had a different pair of lashes, but Ashley's dog Nala ate one of them. So we had to go in and change up the lashes. So I'm using the Ardell Wispy lashes and they're just always one of my favorites. They're always the go-to. I think they're perfect with any kind of look. So now for the face, I'm going in with foundation. I'm actually mixing the um, Too Faced Born This Way foundations. I'm mixing light beige and warm beige and that will give me Ashley's color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the face using my Morphe sponge. And then I do switch to a duo fiber brush and I'm going to go ahead and just apply this down her neck and just, you know, making sure that the whole face is one so you don't have that line of demarcation. So now we did have a lot of purple fallout on the eyes and I actually forgot makeup removers at home. So I'm going to share with you guys what I did to cover up the under eyes. And this is just a really great tip if you have anyone with dark circles or anything like that. So I'm going in with the Becca under eye corrector. And I think this is in the light shade. They do have light and medium depending on your skin tone. I'm just going to go ahead and press this under the eyes and then going in with my blender just to blend it out a little bit more. I love this not only to go ahead and correct under eye circles, but I also love adding a little bit of this to my brides because it does have have a brightening effect and it really does make your eyes pop especially when it comes to weddings and things like that so I'm going ahead and putting that down first and then adding my concealer which is the LA girl pro conceal and natural I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over the face as you can see to highlight her face and then going back and blending it out with my blender Then we're going to go ahead and start to set everything with powder. So going in with the under eyes, I go back with my MAC brush just to go ahead and get any excess concealer and any creasing out from under her eyes. And then I go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer underneath her eyes. I'm also going to go in with the translucent powder and set her whole face using this powder. This will keep her foundation and everything in place all day. For brows, I'm first going to go in with my Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. Ashley has a pretty good brows, but I just did want to go ahead and just line underneath the brows a little bit, as well as fill in that inner corner of her brow just a little bit. So as you can see, I'm going in with Soft Brown first, and then I do go in with my Brow Powder in Soft Brown just to go ahead and fill in the brows a little bit more. To go ahead and contour, I'm going to go ahead and use my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I love Hula Bronzer, so I'm going in with my contour brush by MAC, and we're going to go ahead and contour the cheeks and the forehead. Next for blush, I'm going to go in with this one by Pretty Vulgar. I actually got it in my BoxyCharm and I love the color, so I added it to my kit. I don't remember the name of it, but I will link it down below for you guys as always. I love this color. It's a nice, like, dusty rose color, which I thought would be perfect with the purple. So just applying that right to the cheeks. I really like nice dusting. Then to go ahead and do highlight, I'm using Becca Opal, which is gorgeous with this look. I've been loving and switching it up to doing Opal. You guys know I love Champagne Pop, but Opal's been my favorite recently. So just applying a little bit of opal to the cheeks then we're gonna go back and finish up the eyes so I'm going back in with that purple from the BH cosmetics palette and bringing it all the way from outer corner all the way to inner corner to really smoke out that lower lash then we're going in with liner so I'm going in with my Inglot um, liner this is an eye coal liner in black putting it right in the waterline and then we're gonna go ahead and go with a little little tiny bit of black I'm using this short shader brush by Sigma and I'm applying this as close to the waterline as possible 
possible and just going back and forth from outer corner to inner corner again I really wanted this um, you know look to be smoky and I really wanted the purple and the smoky to really pop in her eyes you can see so going back in and just really blending those colors together and I think this is just gonna go perfect with the whole smoky look I'm gonna go back with my damp brush that I used before and go back to the purple just to really make that purple pop on the lower lash and just blend everything together and that is it for the shadows I love the way this makeup turned out we're just gonna go ahead and do the final touches and then we'll be done so now mascara I'll apply a good coat of mascara to her false lashes just to really emphasize those lashes then we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of inner corner highlight I love mixing um, Mac it's no makeup geek shimma shimma and Mac nylon I mix those two together and it makes the perfect inner corner highlight I'm also gonna take this and put this right underneath her brow just to add a little bit of shimmer right underneath the brow bones Then for lips, I'm first gonna line them. This one is the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner. I actually bought one of the lip kits a while ago in Candy K, so I believe this is the Candy K Lip Liner. I'm not a fan of the lip kits or the lipstick, I should say, but I do love the liner. So I'm going in, just going, of course, applying this and lining her lips. For lipstick, I'm going in with ColourPop Midi, which I love because it's like a nudie pink, but I feel like it does have like an undertone of mauve in it. So I always love using this color for purple eyes because I feel like even though it's a really nice nudie pink it does have kind of that mauve undertone to it just applying this all over the lips as you can see and then for lip gloss I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in shimmer of hope and just applying that all over the lips it's gonna give a really nice pinky nude color to the lips and then last but not least to finish up this look applying some lower mascara to the eyes and then you are done so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial a really nice fun purple full eye and I hope you guys love it like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye oh my goodness I don't know I've never used this app karaoke <laughs> I'm just gonna shake it over there with the hella good hair <laughs> are you doing it says like yeah oh yeah oh. <laughs>